If you were going to loan somebody money, you might actually want to check if they have the ability to pay you back, right? In recent videos, you've heard me talk about a number of reasons the housing market is not headed for a crash. And I have talked about foreclosures in a previous video and how they have declined. But there is another reason that we haven't yet touched on about why foreclosures are down. And that's lending standards. It's mar much harder to get a loan right now than it was just before the Great Recession. This chart shows us how lending standards have changed over the years. And this is the Mortgage Credit Availability Index from the Mortgage Bankers Association of America. So if you look at the left-hand side of the chart, you'll see in June 2004, loans became more and more and more easily available to where the index actually peaked out at 868. Uh, when they realized, and a lot of people realized, we were heading for trouble and there were a lot of unqualified people getting loans, they had to tighten things up to cut back on the wave of foreclosures that were heading their way. You can see since 2008, when they knew there was a storm on the horizon, they've maintained a very tight rein on who can actually qualify for a home loan. In the years leading up to 2008, if you could fog a mirror, you could probably qualify for a loan. In fact, there was a term for these loans. They were ninja loans. No income, no job, no asset verification. Basically, it was pretty darn easy to qualify for a loan. Now, since 2008, with lending standards tightened, you can imagine that people are a lot better qualified for a loan. And what happens when you have people who have the ability to pay things back? They actually pay back. And you'll see in this next chart that the foreclosures have gone way down in great part because we have qualified buyers owning homes. This graphic shows the year-by-year -year foreclosures nationally. And you can see there's quite a peak there in 2010, which followed the wave of unqualified buyers. Many of these buyers were on adjustable rate mortgages. And as these mortgages matured, the monthly payments for these unqualified buyers went up. So it's only natural that we had a ton of foreclosures with these people. As those folks were flushed out of the market, we had a base of more qualified buyers who were making up the bulk of the market. And we can see in the years since 2011, a steady decrease in foreclosures. Foreclosures in 2020 and 2021 were held artificially low by forbearance that was enabled by the CARES Act. People who couldn't make their mortgage payments due to lost jobs or lost income during COVID were given the ability to renegotiate or just given some breathing room so that they could eventually uh, resume payments on their mortgages. Now, a lot of people are wondering what's going to happen when the wave of foreclosures hits us after forbearance is up. Well, yes, we are going to have more foreclosures because there are always going to be people who have financial difficulties. Unfortunately, it is a nature of trying to make a large monthly payment. Sometimes life does bite you in the butt and hurt your ability to make these payments. We will always have foreclosures as long as banks want to get their properties back. So let's take a look at what's going on right now in 2022 as people come out of forbearance. So the numbers this year have understandably increased. And right now through the first half of 2022, there were 164,000 foreclosures. Sounds like a lot. It's actually historically quite low. The first half of 2019, we had less than 300,000, just barely. And then in 2018, we had 362,000 plus foreclosures in the first half of the year. So right now, we're actually not even approaching pre-pandemic levels of foreclosures. The qualified buyer is anchoring our market. I certainly don't want to sound insensitive about people who are in a tough situation and unable to make their mortgage payments. But those people today have a much better chance 
of getting out without going into foreclosures because of the massive run up in prices over the last few years in the housing market. So those who bought in 2018, 2019, even 2020 have really gotten quite a bit of a build in their equity in the home. They have the ability to sell the home for a small profit right now rather than being foreclosed upon. If you know of anybody who is struggling, who may be having difficulty making their mortgage payments, make sure that they talk to a realtor they can trust and explore whether they have the ability to sell right now rather than being foreclosed upon.